in our tech news, an award-winning Ghanaian technopreneur and software developer is trying to make her mark on the tech scene in the West African nation of Ghana. Her use of technology as a tool to teach and mentor young people and women with computer skills to overcome daily challenges is just remarkable. Africa 54 technology correspondent Paul Ndiho via Skype spoke to Sandra Juliet Ahiataku, program manager, Biamo in Accra, Ghana. Sandra Juliet Ahiataku, uh, welcome to Africa 54. Thank you, Paul. I'm very happy to be here. And then greetings from Ghana to your amazing viewers out there. You are one of the rising stars uh, in uh, the tech uh, industry in Ghana. Uh, tell me about uh, yourself and what you do in Ghana. I have a background in computer science and I also pursued project management along the line. I have uh, various expertise in managing projects that are related to health, education, financial inclusion, and then uh, a whole lot of sectors. Uh, how has it uh, been uh, for you as a young woman uh, trying to uh, make your mark uh, in the tech uh, industry? I would say my background in computer science has helped me to get to what st the state that I am today as a woman or a lady in tech. I've had a lot of support from people which has gotten me to this stage as well. What does it take for a person uh, to uh, succeed in the tech industry? What skills do you need? Do you have to be uh, a computer programmer, a coder, a software developer? What skills really do you need that to have a good career in the tech industry? Before I studied computer science, I didn't have so much background in coding. I didn't really know much about what um technology was and what are like the available careers i didn't know a lot about that but i made up my mind that i want to be a beginner i want to start a career in this and then that was one led me so for somebody who might want to actually pursue a career in technology i would advise the person to just make up his or her mind like make up your mind that this is what i want to do then start asking the questions that you don't know. The internet is a very good resource where you can find a lot of answers. If you can, read wide and then also be consistent in whatever you do. Have a positive attitude and then believe in yourself. You will make it. What are some of the projects uh, that uh, you have worked on that uh, have opened uh, so many doors for you and, uh, and the teams that uh, you work with? So I began from a very uh, humble part, like a very humble stage where I didn't know where I was going. So I, I was just trying to strive within myself to get to that top. So after school, I had the opportunity to join an innovation company, an innovation hub, which is called Kumasi Hive. And then I had the opportunity to lead a number of projects which were related to building the capacity of women and girls in technology, such as, so we're talking about digital skills like artificial intelligence, web designs, graphic design, um, blockchain, augmented reality, and the virtual reality, digital fabrication, and many more. Moving on, I've worked with a number of companies. As, uh, so I joined another company, which uh, is the Social Security and National Insurance Trust, where I worked as the assistant management information system administrator. And then I moved on to join Viamo, which is like, a, 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 it's an IT firm. But what they do more is to use mobile, communicate to people using mobile technology in the simple languages that they do understand. How would you describe the tech uh, space in Ghana? I'll say the tech space in Ghana is still developing. And then uh, in some few years to come, Ghana would be one of the countries because of the resources that are already there and then what we are still getting. So I'll say um, Ghana is one of uh, the countries that is a promising country, actually in the field of tech. There are a lot of uh, young uh, people out there, uh, especially young women, young men, who want to get into this uh, space, uh, who uh, aspire to be the next technopreneurs, uh, the next uh, Bill Gates, you know, Steve Jobs or Elon Musk in Ghana or from Africa, what would you tell these other people who want to, you know, to make their mark in this space? My advice to them is that they can make it no matter where they are coming from, no matter their background. They should just believe in themselves, identify what they want to do, 
be persistent at it, consistent, and then with hard work and determination, they will get there. Who inspires you? My parents do, and one person I would like to mention is my mother. She is a very hardworking woman who keeps pushing me. Girl, you can do it. You can get there. So I think she's one person who really inspires me. Well, Sandra, thank you so much for your time. Thank you so much, Paul. And then we got to see your cherished viewers once again from Ghana. That was Africa 54's tech correspondent, Paul Ndiho, speaking to Sandra Juliet Ahiataku, Program Manager, Viamo, in Accra, Ghana.